what's popping my collectors this white butterfly ascension coming to give my aquarius y'all next 72 we got young thug worth it so either you feel like somebody worth it or somebody feels like you worth it so Somebody did lie. Ooh, child. Baby. Let's see. I got my heart locked up in here. So maybe there's been a tragedy. Let's see. I see tragedy and tragic. Y'all been in the hangman position. Stagnant. Not moving. Not knowing which way you want to go. Which direction you want to go in. You standing up for what you want. What you believe in. What you feel you worth. Maybe you be smoking on that gas. You said roll up the cushion. Maybe this person had the ex, didn't have to work. King of Swords and Page of Cups. Some type of honest offer coming in after being stagnant for a while. Someone wants to offer a cup of love. Someone wants to offer you their cup of love after some type of direct communication. After the mental clarity, after getting out of your head space, being stagnant, not moving, you finally know that you're ready to make a move and make an offer to someone, an offer of love to someone. I said, look in your eyes and tell you, I know you're worth it. So maybe you got some type of truth coming towards you that somebody gonna tell you that you're worth it, or they see that you are worth it. What y'all building on? What y'all working on? Other side of the game, Erica Badu. Mm. See? Knight of Wands. Somebody wanna come in fast? Maybe after some type of heartbreak. That's a three of swords. So you want to offer someone a cup of love after some type of direct communication. You want to come in fast and offer this person a cup of your cup of love because maybe you had this person waiting, which is showing that with the hangman because you've been stagnant, not really moving, not really speaking, but now the truth is about to come out that you want to give this person your cup of love and you're ready to move forward with this connection. Night is full. So, this person will be coming in fast to let you know what they feel, how they feel, and what they want from this connection. That's too many. Too many. After somebody was they surrendered to the situation, after being manipulative, after playing games with somebody's feelings. And as I say that, we got Queen of Cups and the Four of Cups. So someone was holding back their emotions, holding back their love with someone.
someone because they were thinking if they wanted this connection, if they wanted to try, even though they had a lot of love for this person. And as I say that, King of Cups and the Sun. We got a pair. So this person, as I said, they see love with you. They see this is a connection that makes them happy. They see that this connection makes them feel free. And they don't want to hold back their love. They're ready to come in and offer their cup of love. They're ready to be direct with their communication. They're ready to show and prove that they are ready to move forward with you in this connection. Or maybe this is you with them. Put the shoe where it belongs. But I want y'all to remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out my TikTok for shorter content. Check out my website to book your own reading. And that's the only way you can book with me. I told you somebody was feeling left out. Somebody was feeling regretful. Someone was feeling like they wasn't getting the love that they gave. Someone felt like they was being left out. So we got Six of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Fate, and Three of Swords. So, this person sees victory after closing out a cycle, praying for this connection, and being betrayed with someone else, or maybe being caught up in their own lies and deception. This person that was caught up in their own lies and deception, that's why someone was feeling left out and abandoned. But after this person closed out a cycle in the past, they was able to move forward victoriously after manifesting and having faith that this relationship would go. And I'm sorry, this is the Eight of Swords. So there's a lot of, as I said, deception. But this person was manipulative, deceptive with their words, kept you entangled with lies and deceit. Possibly a fire sign. So this person was deceitful. And this person that you prayed for, or maybe it's uh, you was deceptive. Because this is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So maybe you were deceptive with a possible fire sign. You prayed for this cycle to start back over. But first, maybe you had to get your karma back. Maybe you had to close out of the cycle. Maybe you had to come to the realization of what you did wrong with this connection. But you see this connection being abundant. Wish fulfillment. A lot of abundance, a lot of working together. Everything that you want and need within this connection. But again, you wasn't able to get this ten of coins until after you closed out a cycle. Or after you came out of this hangman position. After you came out of being stagnant. Out of thinking that you didn't have enough to offer. Even though you love this person. Even though you love this person and had sought happiness. And as I say that, lovers. So you've seen this person as your lover. You've seen this person as completion. You've seen this person as the balance. You've seen this person to balance out the scales within this love connection. Because you saw the connection was abundant, was loving. 
a lot of affection, a lot of forward movement, a lot of passion and desire. And after you close out a previous cycle, then you were able to come towards this abundant new beginning with this lover that you're passionate with or you're passionate about. And we got the take Tory Lanez. So you came in and took this lover down. Eight of Pentacles. So you saw you wanted to invest in this person. You wanted to put some time, work, and effort into this connection. You saw the love was abundant. You saw the love was something that you wanted, something that you wished for, something that you prayed for. And since you realized that this was something that you prayed for, you decided to move forward with this connection. Clarify the four cups. Satisfied with this love. And as I say that, four cups clarified with the tower. So you had an unexpected epiphany displaying the love that you had for this person. And then you realize how they showed or how they gave you happiness. How you felt victorious with this person or this was what you prayed for this was your passion with the queen of wands lovers and ten of pentacles mm -hmm. let's see what else So you're going to come in to offer this person this love offer because you're ready to get this ten of, ten of Cups and this Ace of Coins. So you're ready. So y'all got the Lovers, Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So this shows me, and at the bottom of the deck, y'all got the Nine of Cups. So that shows me there's a lot of love and passion within this connection. After you close out a cycle with someone in the past, so you can move forward to working towards a connection with someone that you see love, affection, chemistry, and forward movement with. Congratulations Aquarius. This is your next 72. And y'all got happiness coming. A lot of love and a love are coming in to show you that they only want you. They only see you. They are no longer in their head. They are feeling victorious. They are feeling vindicated. Mm. Contagious Isley Brothers. Tender Love. Force MDs. Take Me to the King. Tamela Man. Hot boy, Missy Elliott. 
one love Bob Marley and here and now Luther Vandross so this is in the present moment within the next 72 you'll be getting the clarity that you need with that being said thank y'all for rocking with me Remember, if y'all get enough views, y'all can get the bonus read for the Zodiac sign of Aquarius. Thank y'all for the love, support, and the donations. And thank y'all for booking with me for those who have. Thank y'all. Y'all be easy.